Well, good evening, everyone. Today we have a very, very special guest on our show tonight, and she's all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. Let me introduce Sacra Victoria, musician, guitarist, performer, and designer. So just sit back, enjoy the show, and have fun. Hello everyone, my name is Sacred Victoria. I'm a guitarist, musician, composer, and designer. Thank you so much for having me on the interview and I look forward to answering all of your questions. Firstly, how did you get started with guitar? I started playing guitar when I was about 12 or 13 years old. And what actually inspired me to begin playing was the video game Guitar Hero 3. That summer that it came out, my friends and I, we went and bought the game and we spent all summer playing it and I just loved it. I loved the idea of playing a song and then playing it on stage. And it was also the first time I was ever exposed to any hard rock or metal. Uh, no one in my family is musical at all, so my musical exposure was very limited early on to mostly movie soundtracks or classical songs or pop songs. So when I heard hard rock and heavy metal on that video game for the first time, I just knew I wanted to play guitar. So my mom bought me a starter kit. Uh, it was a little squire with a little practice amp, and I played it and played it and played it and I loved it. I watched YouTube videos, instructionals, anything I could get my hands on, and I lived, breathed, and slept guitar. How old are you right now and what is your star sign? I'm 24 years old and my sun sign is Scorpio. How long have you been playing the guitar? I've been playing guitar for about 11 years and I love every minute of it. What is your favorite musical genre? My favorite musical genre? I don't know, that's so hard to say. I really love all genres for different reasons. I love studying, playing, and writing in all genres, uh, whether it's jazz, classical pop, heavy metal, rock, fusion, atonal music, really all of it. It all has value for different reasons. Um, but if I had to pick my favorite genre, I would have to say it's heavy metal. I just love the speed, the power, the loudness, the raw aggression. I could not live without heavy metal. What can I say? I'm a metalhead. What are some of your biggest musical influences? Some of my biggest musical influences, especially early on with the Beatles and Led Zeppelin. Jimmy Page was a huge inspiration to me when I first started playing guitar. I also love the Scorpions and their guitarists inspired me as well. Uh, Matthias Jabs, Michael and Rudolf Schenker, and Yuli. I also love Rainbow, so Richie Blackmore became another huge inspiration. Uh, he really inspired me in particular to get into that uh, neoclassical shred style of metal, which I love. But as I started to get more technically proficient, I started to get into a lot of the uh, shredders from the 80s, like Yngwie Malmsteen, Jason Becker, Marty Friedman, Michelangelo Badio, and Paul Gilbert. I also love a lot of the modern guitarists, like Jason Richardson, Rusty Cooley, Guthrie Govan, and John Petrucci. 
I really love a lot of the underrated guitarists as well. Players you might not have heard of, but you definitely check out if you get the chance. Sean Lane, James Moody are two absolute speed gods. And I'm also really inspired by some of my professors from Berkeley, Sean Machard, Don Lappin, and Joe Stump, all three amazing players that if you have not heard of or checked out, you definitely should do so. What are some of your favorite musicians and acts? Some of my favorite musicians and bands are Dio, Rainbow, Deep Purple, Iron Maiden, Led Zeppelin, The Scorpions, Megadeth, Yngwie Malmsteen's Rising Force, really anything hard rock or metal, I love all of it. I also really love virtuosic violin. Paganini is a huge inspiration to me, especially when it comes to my instrumental writing. Do you play any other instruments? I do play a couple of other instruments. I play bass on all my original music. I'm definitely not a bassist, but I get the job done. I also play keyboard. So what I'll do is I'll play a keyboard part on my MIDI keyboard, export that as MIDI, and then assign it a sound of whatever I'm looking for, whether it's a choir, uh, strings, a synth pad. Um, so that's about a, the extent of my keyboard skills. I also sing. I also write a lot of music, vocal music, that I will be singing on and releasing on my first album, so I'm very excited about that. write or sing your own original music? Yes, I do write and sing all my original music. My first release was a guitar instrumental titled Ascension, which you can listen to for free on SoundCloud as well as purchase from Bandcamp. I'd really appreciate the support. You can also watch me perform the whole piece on my YouTube channel at Sacred Victoria as well as on my website at www.sacredvictoriaofficial.com. I'm also working on my first album at the moment, which will be half guitar instrumental pieces and the other half vocal pieces all written by me. I'm very excited for that to be released by the end of the year. Have you taken professional guitar lessons or are you self-taught? When I first started playing guitar, I did have private instruction from a teacher from my local music store. But when I was about 16 or 17, I started to work with producer Eddie Kramer on some of my original music. And he really encouraged me to get an education in music theory. So when I was about 18 or 19, I enrolled in Berkeley College of Music Online. And while I was studying through that platform, many of my professors really encouraged me to audition for the campus. So in August of 2019, I did. And I received a full scholarship to attend Berkeley College of Music. And I moved to Boston in 2020. some of your dreams and goals going forward, Sacra? My main dream and goal is to be an independent artist that writes, records, sings, and performs my original music live. I love being on stage, it's one of my favorite things to do, and I would love to go on tour with my original music, whether it's touring America or touring the world. I would just love the opportunity to share my music with anyone who appreciates it. I would also love to be a hired gun for an already established band because I think it would be a great opportunity to learn about the industry and I would truly enjoy it. Where do you live? Have you always been from there? I was born and raised in Fredericksburg, Virginia and I lived there for most of my life. But then in 2015 I moved to LA to work with Eddie Kramer at LAFX Studios and I lived in LA for about two years. And then in 2018, I moved back to Virginia to further my education through Berkeley Online. And then I spent two years in Virginia. And once I received my full scholarship to Berkeley, I moved to Boston to study. And I lived there for about two years. And then I moved back to Virginia 
and then moved to Nashville, which is where I currently live. Do you collab with any musicians or are you in a band? Yes, I love collabs and I love collaborating with other musicians. I've actually been a part of a few collabs. The most recent one was the biggest all-female shred collab ever, hosted by Kate Devon and Bradley Hall. Definitely check that out on YouTube, it's pretty awesome. I also have collaborated with a few cover bands in the Richmond area and performed live with them. That was a great experience. I am currently collaborating with a fellow shredder named James Moody on two projects. One is called Sacred Symphony, which is a sort of symphonic power metal project, which is on YouTube. We also have a backing track channel together called iJam Backing Tracks, where we write and record backing tracks. Definitely check that out if you feel like jamming to some cool tracks while you're playing guitar. Give us a like and a subscribe, we really appreciate it. Do you see yourself playing music as a career? Yes, I absolutely see myself playing music as a career. I love music, it's my true passion. And I also love combining my art and design skills with my music. What do you like best about the guitar and how many do you own? What I like best about the guitar is how versatile it is. I think it's amazing how you can have a guitarist that shreds and plays heavy metal, and then another guitarist that plays classical and fingerstyle, and then another guitarist that plays an acoustic percussive style. With guitar, there's so many different options and techniques that you truly can never get bored. I also love how much of a travel companion it can be. As of right now, I have about 10 guitars a nylon string classical guitar, a 1973 gold top Les Paul, a 12 string hummingbird, a 1978 six string hummingbird, three guitars that I custom painted myself, a Strat, an Epiphone Flying V, and a double neck SG. And then I have two custom guitars from DC Custom Guitars that were custom designed by me. One is hand painted Strat style, and then another is his signature Evelyn style body. If you have any work that you need done, such as scalloping or mods, or would just simply love a custom guitar, definitely check out DC Custom Guitars. Dean Cassione is an amazing luthier, and he is one of the best, and I would highly recommend him for any work you need. What are some of your other interests? One of my true passions besides guitar is art. I've always loved art. Whether I was designing a custom skin for one of my custom guitars, or painting a custom guitar for myself or someone else, or creating album art. I also love design, in particular fashion design. I've always enjoyed creating, making, and wearing my own clothes. I have a shop on my website at sacredvictoriaofficial.com. Under the shop section, you can see many items that I've designed and created myself. I'm actually wearing one of them right now. And I've always loved that. I also love modeling, and I've done that extensively in the past. I have my whole modeling portfolio on my website. And I also love teaching guitar lessons. I love teaching people who want to learn theory, how to improvise, or how to shred. And if anyone is interested in guitar lessons, I do teach them. And please reach out to me through Facebook, Instagram, or on my website, and I'd be happy to set up a time and day with you. Tell us about your recent travels and gigs. I worked with a couple of cover bands and performed live around the Richmond, Virginia area for about two years. I've not done much traveling with my music, but I plan to do so soon in the future. Do you have any recordings out for sale? And if so, how can your fans purchase them? Yes, I do have recordings out for sale. I have my guitar instrumental titled Ascension, which is available to listen to for free on SoundCloud, as well as purchased from Bandcamp. And you can also find it on my website at www.sacredvictoriaofficial.com. I'm also planning to release much more music before the end of the year, and all of that will be available on all major music platforms.
besides guitar lessons, I do also offer session work. So if anyone is interested in having me lay down a killer solo, just message me through Facebook, Instagram, or my website, and I'd be happy to lay down a killer track for you. Thank you for coming by today, Sacred, to do this exclusive interview. We wish you the best going forward. Thank you so much, Elise de Fan, for having me on this interview. I really enjoyed it. I hope I answered all of your questions. And if anyone wants to contact me regarding guitar lessons, session work, or custom art, please feel free to reach out to me through Facebook, Instagram, or on my website. And in the meantime, keep shredding.